Uh, my name is Philip Schmidt. My title is uh, Director of the Learning Initiative here at the MIT Media Lab. I was born in Germany. I lived in Cape Town for a long time. Now I live here in Boston. When I think about learning, I don't think of it as something that happens in school necessarily, but more something that we all do throughout our life from the moment we're born until we pass away. So in the same way that technology changes all other aspects of life, it's, it changes the way we learn. I'm more interested in how, if you're interested in something, you can find other people who are interested in the same thing using technology. They may not be in the same place as you, or they may be in the same place. And then how do you collaborate with them? How do you work with them? How do they help you? How do you find mentors? How do you find materials that you might be looking for? How are you inspired? I think the most important thing is the first few years. I think if very young kids feel safe, and they feel supported in, in their curiosity, that it's okay to ask questions, to explore things, that will set them on the course to be successful and happy for the rest of their life. In my work, I focus more on um, people at later stages in their lives because I think we often think it's too late if we don't catch them at the, in the early years, and I think that's also wrong. I think people have lots of opportunities to improve, to um, change, to become new people, um, at, at later stages in their lives, and technology can help them do that. I, mean, I, know I can't quite pinpoint who exactly I, I would have learned this from, but I think um, at, at one moment I realized the power of um, reaching out to other people when you're stuck or when, you're, when you need help. And I think the education system often discourages that, right? Like you were supposed to work on your own, or at least when I went to school, maybe that's changing now, but uh, you were supposed to work on your own. You have to hand in your own homework. It's like, it's about the individual um, succeeding. And I think all learning is social, and I think all life is social. When you realize that asking for help and helping others is maybe a much more is maybe a core or the most important aspect of learning. I think it shifts the way that you approach education. The public library is my ideal learning space because it's a place that anyone can access free of charge. Anyone can be legitimate, right? So there's no, no judgment. Uh, I think any interest is legitimate. So people come to the library and there's just boundless curiosity you find an environment that's extremely supportive and helpful, but that doesn't try to tell you how to do certain things, that kind of feeds off of the things you are asking from it, and it's flexible. So the, the best public libraries these days have a lot of flexible spaces that people can use for meetings, or to, for workshops, or to play concerts, or to build you know, robots. Um, so I think flexibility, support, caring, um, and allowing people to follow their own passionate curiosity.